All right, back on the KOTOR. <coughs> I was uh, a little, little busy last night. Went on TikTok Live instead of playing this because I was having fun. So. We have returned. Let's go ahead and level up here. Playing a scout. There we are. We should be fine with that. Hmm. You see, we took plus one to saving throws, which is important. We're going to take toughness. And the reason we're going to take toughness is because at level four, I just see, we get an extra vitality point, so extra life point, and it's retroactive. But when we get the next one at level five, it actually subtracts two points from any damage. Uh, can be the difference from life and death. So each attack will actually subtract two points, and then it gets, you know, an additional one, so it's three points. So toughness is one of the best things in the game. We're obviously not going to touch any of this. We're not going to touch any of that because we're going to get lightsabers eventually, so we're not going to worry about it. We will touch that. We're going to get all the way there, so that's important. That's important. This will give us two weapons. So we'll be looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten feet. It's possible. It'll take a while, but it's possible. Definitely going to be useful now to have the... You see the three extra vitality. That's a tenth of, a, of our hit points. If you look at it that way. Can head into these apartments here. Break into every one of them. How many credits do I have? Four hundred and six. Okay. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Dabik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Dabik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean we babbling about? Not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Dabik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Maybe I could help you with a problem with Dabik. I owe Dabik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. You'd give here you 200 go. credits to a stranger just to help them out? I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that show sure was just You're welcome. That sure was I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. So, got 110 experience points.
made 26 credits of it back already, so. Because I got nine credit, 19 credits and 7 credits, so. Of the 200 I spent, I got 19 back. Oh boy. 21. Those two credits made all the difference. I do want to go in there, but I want to do this first. Eighteen credits. All right. Now when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their house. Don't, don't hurt my family. Just take what you want and get out. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and hey, party it up hey, with hey, Sarna. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sarna. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. They're all passed out now. Eleven credits. So you see, we made quite a few credits. There it is. This is what we're looking for. Sith armor. We're gonna need that. Pretty good armor, and well, we're gonna need it. Two hundred fifty six credits. All right, we're doing fine with that. Coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Since you got to Lars says you belong, Slummy. Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey right, guys, we're gonna be a friends drink. here. Let me buy you a drink. Hey, hey. for a Slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this Slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> No way, forget it. No more drinks. We're late enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Oh, I got 60 points, uh, experience points out of it. This is a D20 game, so level 20 is the max. That guy's a jerk. Customer, come in, come in, Janice Nall at your service. Welcome to my droid shop, or droid supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of terrorist citizens won't even come in. They refuse to shop at a store and buy a toilet. <coughs> what do they have against toilets? We don't like aliens much here in the upper terrace. They tolerate us toilets, but they'd rather see us dancers as cantinas or successful. They'd rather see us as dancers and successful businesswomen. I see a few aliens around here. Most non-humans stick to the lower city. I've learned not to dwell on it, though. I try to focus on running my store. My selection is a bit ra limited right now. The Sith confiscated all my assault droids, but I have a utility droid that might find interesting. Utility droids, what do they do? What don't they do? They're great at making vehicle repairs, for starters, pretty handy in its fight, small but tough. Surprising amount of firepower. There's no better code breaker security system and slicer around. Not that I'd ever condone you doing anything illegal, of course. Let's see your droids. I got two droids left. Rebuilt T3H8 unit for 50 credits, and the top of the line T3M4 model 
with all the options, but he's not for sale. Okay, give me that one. You know a bargain when you see one. This little guy is as reliable as you get. I did re reconditioning on him myself. Don't worry, he'll follow you everywhere. Is there anything else you need? Yeah, what do you have for sale? Inventory. Alright. Can't even afford any of that. Let's go, droid. Bought you 50 credits, you come with me. This is what money can buy, folks, right here. Kablooey. Useless, I say. Going back to my shop. Hey, where's that little T83H8 unit I sold you? He blew up. Can I get my money back? He blew up, huh? I thought I'd taken care of that little crosswiring problem. Well, don't worry, I run this business here. I don't have to give you a refund, but I don't want to lose a customer here. Here's your 50 credits back. No hard feelings, right? I think you should throw in something extra for all the trouble. It was tell people to stop shopping here. 75 credits. Better. A little dark side energy in me there. Not great, but whatever. Well, now you want to talk to me, huh? It's a good time to ask you some more questions. I just want to know you better. This is an interrogation, I never said that. Like you said when we first met, Basil didn't have time to use her powers. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan after all. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was recruited for my fleet on the, or into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Really Rather, I wasn't. Since the crash. We have made it this far Darn straight. Still. Are you implying I had something to do with the crash? Don't get me wrong. It just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. Well, Bastila requested my transfer. And hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I'm telling you the truth, or telling you, Karth, I had nothing to do with the crash. I've got no real reason to suspect you, Ben. I'm straight. Are you always this suspicious? I don't trust anyone. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. Pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. You're the reason Caden never gets to see London in Mass Effect. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Move along then. I'm gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Yes, disguise. Let me 
just magically change in front of you. Now I'm Sith. Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Well, good luck. I heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. What? I'm in level up terms. What eight seven and eight six thousand. Okay. Forty nine twenty, I mean. Yeah. This is a Dungeons and Dragons system in Star Wars. It's why I like it so much. Picks are nothing but bantha fodder. The Valkyrs are strongest. We'll teach you who's strongest. Dead. <laughs> no, no you won't. Sith aren't welcome here. Interesting. He whacked me good. Not doing great here. Not doing great at all. Oof. That was pretty rough. I'm gonna do something. We're returning to hideout and then we're gonna run back down there because that did not go well for me. Okay. Plus we had to do that anyway eventually. It was one of our quests, so it was just better to get it done and over with. People actually talk to you differently when you're in a Sith outfit than when you're not. Because the obviously it's a disguise they can't tell. The patrols will treat you differently. Common citizens will treat you differently. Please don't take me for questioning. I don't know anything, I swear. See, they treat you differently. If we can find anything. Welcome back. Welcome back. Of course. Because it's the boss. My favorite credits. Eventually. But right now, no use. Yeah, we got beat up pretty bad there. That was unpleasant. But I'm a scout, not a soldier, so I'm a, my toughness isn't as strong. But I have more... Because I, I wanted to get the HK-47 story in this playthrough. And the only way to do that is to be, really, is to be a scout. There are other ways, it's just not... The easiest way is to be a scout, and... He's fun, so I wanna I wanna make him useful. Happy hunting to us, here we go, lower city. This is the Xbox version playing on an Xbox One. I didn't see a reason to play it on the Nintendo Switch since I already had this version. Makes no sense. I'm gonna go around and 
fight here because we only need 800 experience points to level ourselves up really. So. There's, you know, almost half of it right there. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik do anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Valkyrs. Oh, hey, Candrus. We didn't know you was working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Here, here's Davik's cut. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being that pathetic little gang of <laughs> is important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want you? to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. Besides, you know the arrangement. You Sith don't interfere with Davik's business, and you all get a nice cut of his action. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Down with that. Do, 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 do. We need just under 400 experience points to get to level 4. Like I said, we can get to level 5 or 6 down here. No, level two, blah blah blah, you can do it, but it's not fun. There we go. Eight credits. Eight credits. Well, that's 16 credits. It's not the worst thing ever. That will wipe the floor with me. Mm. Yeah, my intelligence of 16 is important. One, two, three, four. And I got implant level two, so I got that automatically, which is so nice. And uncanny dodge. Implant level 2 at level 4, that's so good. Oh, I'm so happy with that. An uncanny dodge. Dodge retains a dexterity bonus, defense even suppressed by camouflage opponents, also gains a plus 2 on saves versus grenades. So, uncanny dodge, you're a rogue. But man, it's nice. Especially with toughness. We, we approve of Uncanny Dodge, that's a D&D &D skill, but still, we'll take it. Like I said, we get to level 6, and we should be barely normal in terms of gameplay. 48 health now. Much better. Defense is at 12. 
Let's see, so I need 4,000 in terms of experience to get to the level I want to be at. Is this lower city apartments? Yeah, this is where we want to be. Right where I want to be. Seem to be taking great interest in our progress. Do you need something, little man? Quiet, Lurgo. That's Kalo Nord, the infamous bounty hunter. Oh, you collect the bounties over our cold, dead bodies. We warned you guys. Now you're dead. Nice to have that 75 experience points. Take that. money right there. Three sonic grenades will take that. What's the boss got? Very good. In fact, we'll take the 33 credits as well. Armor reinforcement. Garth remains alive somehow. Uh -huh. Yes. Let's see, what do we get? Ninja shield? Okay. It's not the worst thing ever. A repair kit. That's good for droids. I was going to say, let's give him a combat suit. Let's give him an option, at least. There. Now he's... Now he's not completely nerfed. He's got, you know, some armor. Used to having, like, At and then KOTOR 2, where he has his own armor equipped, and it's the best he can have. You don't even think about it throughout the game. <coughs> oh, he's almost level 5. Okay, he needs 800 experience points. That's good. Nice. Garth is one of my favorite people in here, it's just I hate his personality. <laughs> he drives me nuts. I'm such a whiner. Three whole credits, oh boy. Nothing, nothing to see here. Oh, I get rid of ten of those guys, and that's the end of it. This is an electronic personal message center through it, though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time. So there's one unread message on the system. Let's read it. Hey, Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine and be to become a miner. Did he leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? 
I were still practicing with that blaster I gave you, remember what I taught you. Because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop kings and keep everything locked in that old strong box. Nobody going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Go ahead and recover the gas mine. Strong box is particular sturdy construction and lack of computerized touch panel and uses a password entry system. Because the box is an older off planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Sure. Let's see. Name of the pet, Hyperdrive. My uncle. And Alderaan. Much, oh, much nice. Let's go ahead and give that to a. There we go. So ninety five hundred. So he needs five hundred more experience points to level up. Just like that. I've killed plenty of your kind before, and I've got no problem doing it again. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Come on, Taris. There you go, Karth. You finally decided to shoot her. Oh, nice. You got a scope, an adrenal amplifier, a neural band, and some credits. That was a good room. Computer parts. Computer spike parts and nine credits. Nice. So my reflexes are up two. My will's up two. Credits. We'll take the free computer spike in part, no problem. Uh, 
Let's see if I can survive. survived. Definitely going back. Not for the two med packs there. He has a mod to put on to his armor. Okay, nothing there. See, mind affecting defensive bonus though. So, definitely worth it. Oh, cool. He had an attack bonus. It's actually gonna, yeah. Attack modifier plus one, couple of energy bonuses, and attack bonus. All right, cool. Garth, you are useful for now. Remember, I hate playing this game on normal. There. Oh, I should just have to keep healing, keep going back and forth. I don't feel like doing that. Kath wants to talk to me. I'll discuss something with you. I want to talk about these issues you have with me. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Not built that way sounds like an excuse. So you want some guarantee I won't betray you? There are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. I'm beginning to wonder if you're ever capable of trusting anyone. So you don't want to talk about it? No, but I want us to save the galaxy. 
If that's even possible, why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I, mean, I want to get underway. Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Of course, of course. That should be enough. To the cantina. in with a Sith uniform. Rude. Ah, uh, Mysterious Stranger, I knew you'd be back. They all come back. You want to set up another fight, right? The ring is in your blood now like a virus. You need to hear the cheers of the crowd. You need to feel the rush of battle. You need to fight again. You want to step into the ring now? Are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelists in Taurus? Yeah, I'm ready. I think you're ready to go against Icy. I mean, she's tough, but so are you. There'll be lots of action in this fight. Huge purse. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Go ahead and save here. Charge. Come on, me hit. There you go. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Ice is knocked out cold! Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks! But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see! Nice. Oh, day nine thirty five. That's pretty good. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth, so I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very. 
But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. So if you're gonna keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. You don't waste any time, do you? Go talk to Adger. He'll set the match up. Good fight, good fight. People like you, Mysterious Stranger. They bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid 10% of the purse. That was the deal. Here's your credits. You come see me when you're ready to fight again. Ah, oh, Mysterious Stranger, I knew you'd be back. They all come back. My latest find, my new rising star. We make a good team. I'm making money, you getting famous. It's all good. You want to step in the ring now? Are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelists in Terrace? I'm ready for a duel. You got taunt for this game, stranger. I think it's time you fought Marl. He's getting up there in years, but he's still very, very good. He used to be the duel champion. Now let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport. A 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Marl! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. And it took him down. I needed to use one strength. Might as well. back in his prime there's no shame in losing to you but when you beat me you made me realize something kid first it was just twitch i couldn't handle now it's you and twitch pretty soon there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings this game has been good to me but my time is done i need to get away from the duel rings for a while think things over goodbye stranger i wish you all the best i've never been one you're good you beat Ice. I've been trying to beat her for years, and you do it just like that. <laughs> I can't believe how lucky you are. That's right. I said lucky. Lucky to be born with the kind of talent I spent a lifetime trying to build. It isn't fair, I tell you. 
You beat Ike. That's right. I... Mm. First I go down to an injury. Now it looks like Marl's been dropped by old age. No room in this game for the veterans anymore, I guess. But don't get cocky, kid. One day it'll happen to you, too. Time catches up to us all sooner or later. Well, everyone except Bendix Starkiller. Good fight, good fight. People like you, Mr. Stranger. They bet a lot when you fight. Makes me happy and rich. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid 10% of the purse. That's what the deal. That was the deal. Here's your credits. You come see me when you're ready to fight again. I will. But first, we gotta go do something. We gotta go buy some stuff. Gotta make myself a little bit more in terms of. Welcome to the. Because of the city. Yeah, yeah, back up to 20. Let's sell those. I have things to sell you, lady. Because of this. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a nice thing was ever done for me. It is a nice day. The fortune comes my way. <laughs> It's time to become the arena champion. Do 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 do. Do do do. Hey, you're one of the duelists. The one they call the mysterious stranger. Sure, I know you. Guess Twitch is up next for you, eh? Good luck. You'll need it. Yep. Oh, you're talking about. Yeah, we're gonna absolutely annihilate him. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> Mysterious stranger, I knew you'd be back. They all come back. You're getting quite the reputation, stranger. Everyone's excited. They all want to bet in the next match. I'm excited, too. More bets means more credits for me. You want to step in the ring now? You were ready to prove yourself against the best duelist in Terrace? Yeah. You've beaten almost everyone, human. I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Twitch might be crazy, but he's the best in the game. If you can beat him, you're the new champion. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we watch this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see here. He should stay relatively. Don't 
gun. <laughs> Why get close to him? That's why we bought those frag grenades. He just kept throwing frag grenades and he just stood there and took it, so. Yep. Taking care of business right there, folks. <laughs> Congratulations, Mysterious Stranger. You're my new dual champion. Twitch is a good run, but it, you took him down. Here's the purse for beating Twitch. Bad news is I don't have anyone left who wants to fight you. You're too good on your for your own good. Nobody wants to go in the ring with you. Only left for you who will fight you is Bendik Starkiller, but he's retired. Too bad. People would pay a fortune to see you fight Bendik. See, they're all like, um, they're in awe. So we're going to talk to Bendix Star Killer. We're going to leave and come back and talk to Bendix Star Killer because apparently nobody wants to talk to me. Bendick named the time and place. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Cool. So it's on. We've challenged Bendick Star Killer. Now we're gonna go talk to Azure and have this all set up. You're good, stranger. I'll give you that. But going up against Bendick is suicide. Even before I lost feeling in my fingers, I wouldn't have risked a death match with Starkiller. I heard you challenged Bendix Starkiller. I'll probably watch the fight, but forgive me if I don't go to your funeral. I heard you're going to fight Bendix Starkiller, stranger. I'm not one to mince words, so let me just say this. You're dead. He'll kill you. End of story. Oh, you think I'm cold and hot? Wait until you step into the ring with him. He's a natural born killer. You had great potential, stranger. Too bad you're going to throw it all away. For the news, Monsieur Stranger, you and Bedek are playing a death match. This is excellent news. People pay a fortune on this fight. But why are you here now? Deathmatch takes time to get ready. I have to bribe officials so they don't break it up. You might as well leave the cantina for now and come back later. Okay, I'm leaving now. I'll come back later. Leave now. Because I'm gonna die if I don't. Do 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 do. So we'll take this with armor. Right. So we have, you know, stuff. Alright, 
moving on down to the lower end of our mouth. <laughs> oh, there's some issues. Let's go ahead and put this on. Please, human, I'm injured and need assistance. These human children keep hitting and kicking me. I cannot reason with them, but if I fight back, I could be arrested. You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Oh, please, human, help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Hey, you kids, leave that throwing alone. Some scummy alien. He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit from work associate when these children attacked me and chased me through the streets. I should be okay now. I'm glad I could help. Once more, thank you for saving me from these human children. I must leave now. My life mate will be wondering where I am. I'll take the 60 experience points. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now we're Sith again. Wahahaha. Evil. Evil is my one and only dream when it comes to the Sith. They don't know any better. Evil. Evil is the one and only firm. <laughs> In we go. Into the apartments we go, we go, into the apartments we go. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we got plenty. I'll be there in, you know, a long time. grenades and an advanced med pack. We'll take that. Med pack, advanced med pack, 54 credits and a heavy blaster. Nice. Good room. Good room. Oh, and some supplies. So let's see what we get in supplies. Two med packs. Okay. Spike, med pack, and credits. All right. Which way is he headed? Tumpa kun pagiyap. 
50 experience points somewhere. Another 50 experience points. Med pack and some credits and a thing. Okay, we're doing alright. Entry door did pretty well. Oh, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. What are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. None of your business. Just turn around and go back the way you came. If you know what's good for you. You're in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? It's something you don't want to get mixed up in. Look, do yourself a favor and just leave me alone. Okay, I'll go. Oh, this time it was success. I guess I could tell you. You probably will find out eventually anyway. Zach is giving his bounties away like candy, so I hear. My name's Matrix. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew what I was doing was wrong, so I turned the state's evidence. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on terrace away for life, but Davik doesn't seem to like his friends going down. So now he's going to put a bounty on my head. Maybe there's a way up and get out of this mess. I didn't think much, or didn't think there's much anyone could do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here. Uh, maybe you can fake your own death. I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan how to do it, but I pull it off. I need to hold up in here. I'll tell me the plan. I might be able to help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it where there's no body found on the scene. It looks like I died in a massive explosion. He won't. Be suspicious of the corpse was never turns up. If I had an accomplice go back, tell David that they they were the one who set off the explosion to eliminate me, I think I'd be home free. I have some demolitions experience in my own days of exchange, so I could set it all up, but I need to get my hands on some primacrete detonator. Oh I have one right here. Go on, take it. Let me see, yes, that should do the trick. There won't be anything left of this apartment scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. Good thing we got all our stuff we needed first. Okay, it's on time or so. Let's get out of here before it blows. That was quite the blast. Don't go back in there. The whole roof might cave in on your head. Look, I'm not a man for long goodbyes, but I want to say thanks. If it, was, if it wasn't for you, I'd be a dead man. But no, I won't have to worry anymore about the bounty hunters coming after me. So, good luck and goodbye. Now that I'm dead, I can't be seen wandering the streets. So I got light side gain, 480 experience points. Go ahead and put that on. Messing with my hands. Uh, 764 credits, okay. It's out of 15,000, that's where we're at. Oh, cool, I found some remains. I'll take a repair kit that I didn't know I was going to get. No issues there. We'll take it. Just making a final loop to make sure we got everything. That's probably the thing that he set off. Yep, out we go. To the cantina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, you not talk like that. We just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter, Kilo Nord. Nah, this can't be Kilo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a runt. Juan, what that mean? You be funny, tough guy. You know who we are, Kalo? We're members of the Black Valka gang. You don't want to get the funniest with us, tough guy. You don't understand. Juan, too. Why he count? He trying to count how many of us is against him? Three against one, Kalo. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? You're the one who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That way she tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Because she's Why would she do that? She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Mm, sounds like you got what you deserved. What? I want the bounty removed. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting a bounty. If you are someone to kill Dia, it won't look like you're man enough to do it yourself. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll fine. I'll my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Cool. you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Little girl, you should not be here. You should not be in a bar. No place for little girl. Little girl smart. She run away home now. Little girl needs lesson in manners. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. We don't want trouble with the Wookiee. Our problem with you, little girl. Little girl, lucky she has big friend. We speak the same language. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. 
My street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I'll ask you some questions. Right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Noor. Tell me about Davik. Talking about the lower city gangs. Why'd Bridget leave the hidden backs? Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Bridget in his place. But Gadden figured Bridget wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Bridget was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his backs from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the lower city is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. Hmm. Talk about Kaylor Nord. Famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zach's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kaylor's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? All right, I'll be going. No action around here. Come on, Big Z. Let's go. I haven't finished my eating. I haven't finished eating. Inside your stomach five minutes. Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the back base. So there's 60 experience points. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and save here. Why? What? Why are you bothering me? Can't you see I'm an auditioning a dancer? At least I'm trying to audition her. Not much point if she doesn't have a partner. What are you talking about? My name is Bib Cyril, manager of the Starlight Entertainers, top performing troupe in the sector of the galaxy. I was here scouting new talent when the Sith attacked, and now I can't leave. I think the Sith would let me go so I could get back to my troop, but I guess they just don't appreciate the arts. So, since I'm stuck here, I figured I might as well continue with my auditions. I'm supposed to be auditioning Lynn, but I think I'm wasting my time. Lynn's got all the moves, but I need to know if she can pull them off while sharing a stage with her partner. Where's her partner? She doesn't have one, that's the problem. Aren't you listening to me? Dancers don't perform solo, so I need to see if she can work with someone else before I... I get her up on stage. Maybe I can help her out. I doubt she just wants to dance with someone who wandered by. This is her one shot at the big time, and dancing with some wannabe as her partner isn't going to help her cause. On the other hand, I'm not going to hire her unless she can. I can see her in action with a partner. Maybe she's desperate enough to give you a chance. You'd have to ask her, I guess. Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my big shot. This is my shot at the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Oh, what's the use? There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless I can get a chance to a dancing partner. Maybe I should just give up. Why don't you have a partner? My last partner left me. She was always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. When I finally told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. My partner before that was even worse. I wasn't tripping over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing arms. I ditched him after less than a week. Maybe I could be your partner. I admit I'm getting desperate. I'd hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to pair up with just a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? I'm good enough to get you through the audition. What other choice do you have? 
Well, you do have that certain look about you. Confidence and movement. Sigh. I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. Mr. Cyril, I have a partner. I'd really like to audition for you again, please. Okay, Lynn, you got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up, then let's see what you got. Okay, I've got time to watch you three more dances. Make them count. Okay, just follow my lead. Remember, more complicated steps, the closer we dance, the more it will impress Bib. Don't get too close if you can't handle it. I don't need a clumsy oaf tripping me up. Try not to screw this up for me, okay? So dance beside her. I'm simple, but nice. Just remember, Starlight Entertainers don't want simple. We're looking for the top performers in the galaxy. Look, I know you're trying to be careful and not screwing up, but I gotta give a little more than that. Bib's seen thousands of dancers. We need to do something that will impress them. Next dance is a little different, so watch me for the steps and jump in. So we're going to dance behind her. Good, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice tempo. Looking good, Lynn. Okay, one more dance to go. Okay, one dance to go. Bib looks happy. As long as we don't screw up, I think I'm in. Follow me and please just keep it simple. Alright, we'll dance with Cider. Looking good, looking very good. Feel the music. Let it flow through you. Well, what do you think? Do I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one for you if you want. Relax, Lynn. You made it. You've got the job. Welcome to the Starlight Entertainers. I made it. I really made it? This is incredible. I, I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. You're in. Now we just need to get you fitted for your outfit. We need to start rehearsals so you can get contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy, busy. It's the life of a star. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'd give you a big hug, but, well, frankly, you're a little belief beneath me now. Like Bib said, I'm going to be a star. But if you're ever traveling the galaxy, you see the Starlight Entertainers perform, stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. Useless wench. I've seen you here before, human. You are new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. Uh, work for Davik? Not officially, no. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pay, pays me to keep an eye open and report to him, and for me to post his bounties. Davik posts bounties in a government office? Is that even legal? I used to have to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arrived, nobody cares what happens to Lower City. Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk. Act of business. This bounty office. So, we should talk bounties. Are you looking for information? Tell me about the bounties. You know what? Screw you. I have bounties to collect on. A bounty? Well, human. That's what I'm here for. Which bounty are you looking to collect on? Yeah, Matrix dead. I believe you, human. I heard reports of rather large explosions. Some people saw you buying Permacrete detonator. It's good Matrix dead, but you went overboard, human. Next time just use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, and but at least the job is done. Here's 300 credits. Price for all bounties. 400. You're brave, human, to bargain with a hut, but I like you. Okay, 400 it is. You do good work, human. There's lots of bounties on the terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Cool. What's in here? I'm the bounty. I'm the hunter. Back again, human. Hope you didn't come just to chat. Tavik hired me to do business to make credits, not to make small talk. Got a bounty I want to collect on. Selvin. 
Zelvin's dead. All the other bounty hunters who went after ended up dead themselves, you know. You did well, human. Here's 300 credits. That's a small price for the bounty. Yeah. Alright. Take the 300. I have information, but it's not free. A fee. There are two, there's two contracts. One's Selvin, the other is bound to famous deathmatch duelist. People killed hundreds of people. But now the bounties are dangerous. David gave some special contracts. One for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, Davik's men. Another for a man named Largo, who was Davik money. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Matrix. He used to work for Davik. Then he betrayed the exchange. Now Davik wants him dead. I'll put information on your data pad. Wait, I almost forgot the bounty's been pulled, human. Holden told me he wanted to do so. Doesn't want her dead anymore. Sorry, no credits for Dia. Actually, now I think about it, the bounty's no longer on the table. Davik told me Largo's bounty's off the table. I guess the merchant came up with the credits. Don't bother with him anymore, human. Bendix, a government contract, he's a legend on Terrace. He started a duelist in the upper city, never lost, but he only fought death matches. He killed hundreds in his day. Death matches got banned, dual ring switched to non lethal combat, but Bendix wasn't ready to retire. He kept dueling in the illegal underground circuit, he kept killing people. And the government had no choice to put a bounty on him, but Bendix is a big folk hero, so not many try to collect. Those who do wind up dead anyway. Okay. So, oh, they're in the credits, 105 experience. Hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on Thack? Maybe so. A oh, spy. This door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gad or the hidden backs. I have to speak with Gad, and it's important. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Hmm. Maybe it could be an ally against those enemies. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak. So you let me in? Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Yeah, okay. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. 
as you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker Spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bregic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Your problems with the Sith? Terrace, declares martial law and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit and run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Mm. I need information on the public escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. You no, know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about this weapon. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gary. How would you know? They might be working for the Sith. Literally, how would you know you're blind? If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this off-worlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working with the Sith. I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Best of the slave will happen to her now. Take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Dobbik for an off world slavery. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never. There has to be some way I can help her. Her friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Can you help me do this, Gadden? If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here, and much to lose. It's true. What are you proposing? I could sponsor you as a writer for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. And how am I supposed to get inside the Vulcan base? Be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gata, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She Where can I find Mission? are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the danger. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Hmm, I've got some Sith uniforms to the size myself. Might have worked on the upper city card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past it. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. What do you want to do with the Sith uniforms? Eventually, the Sith are going to try.
try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Okay, I'll trade uniforms for the papers. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I want to ask some I'm questions. Better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us, but I'll answer your questions if I can. Uh, something wrong with your eyes? Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you! I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Sandra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. When I lost what do you mean? my sight in a swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Why start again with the or war with the Bex? decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulcans. He wanted this war, one way or another. I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Mm, okay, I'll be going. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. Alright, so we have our goal. We found that plastic seal. I have done it where I was I sided with the Bex and wiped all these people out. It's awkwardness. City, here we come. This way. Clearly this way. Also, save. So we gotta head to the lower city and do stuff. I think this is the way to the back base if I remember correctly. I may not be remembering correctly. This may be the way this is. We'll head this way and see what happens. We're going this way regardless. This is the way we want to go. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Got my security papers right here. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say it again for you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack goals, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Sounds good.
right, so we're in the Undercity, that's cool. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! <laughs> Where are you and what are you doing in the other city? Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the under city. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. A public elevator, I'm not paying at all. Pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. You poor wretches, here's 20 credits. Go buy food and clothing. Credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush! The others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. Get out of here. Sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Mitch. Who are you? You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. It's a beautiful place. The surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. He probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little. Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil, who's the that? Man in the, village. the kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Promised land, what's that? almost believe it myself but then I look around and see the ugly truth I guess we have to make the best of what we have though if you really want to learn more about the promised land you should speak to Rukil he's walking around him? somewhere on the south side of the village he doesn't move too far he's hard on his bones he's over 100 years old the children laugh at him and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the promised land but he's really just a kind old man where can I find Gundar? I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Do you know anything about the skate pods that crashed in the Undercity? But maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Have any other uprooters come through here recently? On the surface, marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Well, Tell me about this village. I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survived. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. 
Oh, Where are we oh, going now? Oh, well, if you ever need anything or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. I am Isara, the healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. The villagers Wait, I know. with the Rutball disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something someone can do. Infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rat ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. So you'll just leave the infected ones to die or coward? The infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. I'm going through to try and help those infected ones. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rock ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. Back again? Is there something else you need? I need healing. Thank you. That's literally why I wanted to talk to you. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Life down here a horrible way to live. can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rook Hill. The oldest man in Rukil? the village is a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. Tell me about the rat that live down here. Hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I will ask you some questions. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veil. Vale. Many times, though I've never spoken to her, she and her Wookie companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are the sewers from the Undercity, one to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask your I want to ask you some other questions. Said something about other upworlders who came here recently. From the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Hmm. All right, I'll be going. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. 
I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This will not be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, upworlder. I beg you. Uh, what are you talking about, old man? You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I'm Mitch, what do you want from me, Rukio? Over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. But now she is gone, too. Oh. The truth path? What does that mean? No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Be careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Prove myself, how can I do that? Lost. I sent her out into the undercity to find them. I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. That may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Well, I'll be back for finding nothing out. Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Hmm. As a man run a, a store in the Undercity. Any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Mm. Inventory. Shiny armor, huh?
Alright, so we're able to get a bunch of stiff there. Level 4, if I can stay at level 4, life would be pretty sweet. That'd be pretty awesome. We'd be in great shape for becoming a Jedi. We'd get 16 levels of Jedi. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! Because, like I said, 5 or 6 is typically where we're supposed to go. He will make it. Run, Hendar! Run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rackles are so near! Open the gate, I'll kill the Rackles. Stranger? I uh, risk my life to get some fighting done. For you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Let's talk in more fighting. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? I'm Trellin, the outcast village. It's my job to guard the gates, to see they are locked, to protect us from the rat ghouls. Goodbye, Upworlder. Yeah, goodbye. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. This way. Okay, once we get the rack we'll see him, we're gonna go back up to the back surface again. world. This... But heal me, crazy lady. Saves me some issues. Oh, slow down, mission. What's going on? Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, mission. Take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. We were just wandering around here in the undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. I don't know you know where they're Those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help get Zalbar back, can you get me inside the Valkyr base? Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! D 
Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Dalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Cool, let's do it. So I got her heavy blaster and a blaster pistol. Security papers. You're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed sure. escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one. I am an armed escort, dude. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack gold serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Let's see. You said you lost one patrol already? I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Well, you just follow orders and keep looking. Invest at all. So she needs sure. 300 more. Do, 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 do. Hey, Car, you're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them. It's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission. There are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There are, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Bixie's my friend. Hey, you tell him. My babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. 
Slow down, both of you. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Look, I'm just trying to get Mission to a level that she's not incompetent at. And that's... Yes. Hey there. What can I far do? enough away. Really? I want to know more about you your mission. Know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested yep. in me before. What do you want to know? How did you resolve our hookup? You know, my parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, Who'd pick on a Wookiee? Smart, but there were three of them, so maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you poor slime, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. You're lucky he didn't fry you with a blaster. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course. I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What the other two Volkers do? And ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up when he's speaking, you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back for friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How'd you and Zalbar end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Huh. How'd you survive before you met Zalbar? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. How'd you end up on Terrace? Some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Oh, we should get back to the task at hand. I didn't know you had a brother. It just so happens I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Yeah, sure. I can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and save because long conversations are exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and level her up. But you know, I actually do some damage. There we go. Oh my goodness. I wasn't doing nothing there. I barely got through that. Oof. There we 
There's the raccoon serum. And a med pack that I just used, which is good. talking about. So she did get another level, okay. No reason to keep her down. No reason to keep her there either, that's ridiculous. So at level 8 she can at least get some stuff. Goodness. Sneak attack. Let's go ahead and get her uh, implant level. We can at least get her one of those before we put on the dual wielding. Like I said, not really strong here. She's scoundrel's lucky to get six. Pretty good. She's up to 35 vitality now. Go ahead and put her in that. So if I do this... Constitution what? jumped up a little. Much better. There's one more conversation I want to have. I want to find Candrus down here. Is it 12? 20? Yeah. So he's only 900 away from the level up as well. So I mean, there's there's stuff to be had here. Level 8 characters are kind of pretty good. They're pretty good. Remember, this is a D&D style leveling system, so it goes to 20. And level 5, you start getting the cool stuff in D&D. In this game, it's around level 6. Like, 6 is where you start unlocking some of the more interesting situations. See if we can hook ourselves up here. Part of my job is to be able to be aware and unlock things or recover mines. This is free money. You don't want to be losing that option. Help! Help me! Help! Please! No! No! He didn't make it. If 
My skill's too low. That's not good. Okay. We still have mission if my skill gets too low, so we're fine there. Healing. Now let's go find Candrus. That cantankerous old man. use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rack coolers. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Why is there danger right down here? The Undercity is crawling with rack ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. It sounded like a rack ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Two, three, four, five. Damn. I told Dobbick this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Dobbick sent me down that? here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Dobbick won't like that. What are you? You can tell me about Dobbick. Everyone knows Dobbick. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the interstellar crime syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Dobbick controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. What about you know about the lower city really gangs? The place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs, but the two most important ones are the Hidden Becks and the Black Vulcars. Used to be the Becks were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately, the Black Vulcars are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulcars are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulcars have already sent their own salvage party down here. All right, Come where on, are we boys, going? Let's move out. Still can't be done because stupid Christ didn't level up.
Still didn't level him up. Okay, well, we found a journal. some various other things. several reasons. There are several reasons I'm heading in here. Right there. He goes right on the level up mark. Sellable things. There we go. I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Just had to use a little boys' room, grab a quick snack. Couple granola bars, tasted good. Hmm, let's see here. Do I want to go there? Yeah, I want to go in here. Yeah, talk to her. Want to talk about your brother? A little bit. Embarrassing why? wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, becoming five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in the Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? You were stowaways? Family, you gotta stick by family. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get rich quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive, he showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance code, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Hey, Sounds like you're nothing more than a petty criminal. I leave. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed as far as I'm concerned. If I'm going to be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? No. Okay. Have it your way. No, I never did get your... Talk about tears. Upper city? Lower city? For the info. Garth, you got anything to say? I just want to talk with you. Always up for a good fight. We have to work together, Garth. Plenty to do with me. What do I have to do with Revan and Malak? That's not what I mean. There 
were there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined us. Malik and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who are in the Republic and join them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined the Sith. They deserve no mercy. No mercy. I'm so there was such hatred. And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just no, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. November seventeenth, and it's sixty degrees outside. <laughs> so. Northwest Indiana weather. It was snowing a few days ago. Now it's 60 degrees. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's go make this Rackwool serum available to people. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Jeez, the weights. Are you ready to have a silly chat? <laughs> or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerd herder. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. I shouldn't take it out. Hmm. About time you two made up. Don't think you're helpless. Look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Clark. Well, that's no problem. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Clark. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. That's better. Let's go turn in the right cool serum. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the raccoon disease, of course. I have a serum for the raccoons. Here. Possible. How did you get this? No, How did you get this? wait. No. I don't wait. really want to know. I can, really want to know. can I see it? The serum, I mean. Serum, I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm. Here you go. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Eh, keep it. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Oh, let me see what you have for sale. I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. <coughs> but I need to keep this facility operating. I consider healing important. Okay, now I can buy both of those things. This. Serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, 
You had to go and do the honorable thing. You blew it. Blew it. Yeah, I I did. Gives him the ability to put on a a thingy equipment. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yep. Good shape now. What is his next? So twenty-one thousand. Okay. So fifteen thousand is the next level up. So nine hundred from that. Yeah. Yes. I'm in good shape. Overall, I should be able to get to 900 without issue. I should be able to get to level 6. Let's see if I can... Start this duel. I'm not caring as much as I usually do. I stole most of it. So let's see here. Am I able to do it or am I going to the Undercity and finishing that off? Fight is different than most. We'll turn off the energy suppressor so weapons won't be limited. They can kill. Anything goes. So you ready to fight this match now? Let's do it. Good, excellent. High wagering means lots of credits for the winner in this match. Come see me after the fight and collect your credits if you're still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive... <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle, Bandic Star Killer. And who yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be this guy? Would be face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment, ladies this guy. and gentlemen. Feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious. Stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! Alright, let's see here. Strength. killed me before I even like I didn't even I didn't even fight he just launched he looked at me and said I'm doing what you did to twitch
If you critical hit. Got him. Fendak is down. It's over. It's Did over. It. The fight is over. Fendak Star Killer is down. Fendak Star Killer is dead. Oh, hey, Darn straight. Mysterious stranger. The greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace. Take his stuff. Belongs to me now. Heck yeah. <laughs> Doing my stuff. That's not what I told you to do. Bendex Scar Killer is dead. I don't believe it. Bendex never lo Bendex never loses. That was an amazing duel. Best duel I've ever seen. Glad you enjoyed it. Now where's my share of the purse? You've done well, stranger. I'm pleased, very pleased. Here are your credits. Plus, I'll give you Bendex Blaster as a bonus as a sign of my appreciation. You know... I deserve a little extra, don't you think? Very well, stranger. I like you. This was a special fight. Biggest purse I've ever handled. I'll give you a little bonus this one time only. Everyone will be talking about you now, stranger. They're all going to know you were the one who killed Bendak Starkiller. You're famous now. 900 credits. Heck yeah. More importantly... You go there. <laughs> More importantly, you go there. Yes. Yes. Victory. Sweet victory. I don't want to talk about if I'm going to be any help to you. Okay. Have it your way. This is great. You beat Bendis. You're a legend. Whenever anyone asks, I can say I was the first duelist the mysterious stranger ever beat in the ring. I'm going to be famous. I don't think you had a chance against Bendish, but you sure showed me. You showed us all. Too bad your career as a duelist is over now. I mean, nobody's going to be stupid enough to go up against you anymore. Not even Twitch. Kind of funny, isn't it? You win the big match, and you kill your career. Hey, I'll take the 900 credits. Congratulations, stranger. I never thought anyone would Definitely take that pistol. It's an in-game pistol. Meeting him one day. When I finally did, the guy was a complete slime ball. Made me realize I had to be cold and ruthless to survive. Like him. And now he's dead. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere. Something for me to think about at least. Congratulations again, stranger. And goodbye. So you're a stranger, why are you here? I don't have anyone who wants to fight you. You're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to f get in the ring with you. The only one who'd fight you is Bendek Starkiller, but you killed him. Now I'll never find anyone to fight you. I'm sorry to say, but your dueling career is over, stranger. You fast, you quick, you even beat Twitch. I beat Bendek Starkiller, and I don't have to level up now. I love watching Ice Fight. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the... Hey, it's the Mysterious Stranger. Big match against Bendix Starkiller. Truly one for the ages. Hey, you're one of the duelists. The one they call the Mysterious You beat Bendix Starkiller! I can't believe it! You actually beat him! That's right, I did. Fear me. We're out of here. So let's see here. We won that fairly easily. We're 
we're pretty much good to go now. We're rocking and rolling. We're gonna get healed here and move along. Welcome to my medical. I even have a cure. For of course, I sell them. Of course, I sell them. It will just take me a moment. Yep. Healed. Those are apartments. We don't want to go there. We're going to the Undercity. Well, first we're going to the Lower City Cantina and collecting the bounty on Bendex Star Killer. That's the first thing we're doing. And we're through. I bounty want to collect on. So you kill Bandek in the death in the death match duel. Ironic, isn't it? Bandek a bounty hunter had a bounty on him for killing people in duel, and you collected killing him in a death match. Here's 300 credits. 400 credits. You're brave, human. Arguing with that, but I like you. Okay, 400 it is. You do good work, human. Lots of bounty hunters and terrorists. Most are lazy. So, another 400 credits and another 105 experience points. Yes, sir. Taking care of business right there. at level 6 now. Out of curiosity, 21,000? Okay. She's 3,000 away from leveling up again. Zalvar is the one that makes no sense. They make him a scout. Like he's a Wookiee and isn't a tank. Like it just, it, it's weird. His stats are all wrong. Mission stats aren't terrible, she just needs the constitution. To give her a little more health, a little more oomph in her. Inner step. Please help us. We're infected with the rat pool disease. At any moment we could. At any moment we could. No! No! This cannot be. No! Thank you. 
See, he ain't messing around with the Bendax blaster. We don't want to end up like the others. We couldn't help. Yeah, we couldn't help those people. I agree. I brought you the serum to cure the Rackle disease. Please give it to me, please, quickly, before it's too late. Here, take the Rackle serum. I have enough for both of you. Yes. I feel it working. I feel the disease burning away. It, it's like a miracle. I'm cured. Thank you, Upworlder. You have saved us from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. Not long what are you talking about? We crashed in the Undercity, far to the northeast of the village. We were going to try and salvage equipment from it, but we were attacked by the Rackles and infected. I'd tell you more if I could, but our salvage team never reached the pod. It's probably still there, unless some of the other Upworlders already found it and picked it clean. We should go now, Upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you've done. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the 200 experience points. You amaze me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts. But you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you. But we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. Oh, well, that's not true. You need, I need healing. And you do that. And I appreciate it. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? Your apprentice is dead. I have a journal. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy of brother. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Guide you, but I don't even know where the promised land is. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The Very well, tell me the history. Paris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. Or rose up against this tyranny and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Many Is that how you came to be down here? Women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. I don't really, uh, Legends tell a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. 
Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. What have our journals looking for? Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, will I be able to discover the location of the promised land. I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. Well, thank you. There's experience points, 175. We'll take that. And we will meander on. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the promised land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? No. Most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old crook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. For Stop him, what are you talking about? Everything's pretty good. The village relies on me to bring him food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. That's horrible. I can be self self centered. A long time ago, and if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me the two from the explorers, and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Forget it, I won't betray Rukul in the village for you. Who can pay you for those journals? Rukul has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Is there something else you needed? Yeah, okay. Now we're going. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. I, I don't. Okay, we're going to go into the sewers. Usually I take a break at the three hour mark, but we took one about 30 minutes ago for a snack, so I did my, my potty and my snack break, so we are good to go. Despite it being the three hour mark, we I took care of the needs, which are important. Always important. Every few hours, take a break. This could be a really bad mistake. Could be. So far we're okay. This is a really good team. Like, really good team. You're doing a great job, me. I want to 
to save this. Now load save. As you see, it's a long way since I last saved. This mine. These mines are basically worth a mud pack, which is, you know, worth it. There's a promised land journal and two antidote packs and a mud pack. Cool. Rusted droid. What do we got? Not enough to do much with. That's unfortunate. That's okay. I'll leave it alone. We were able to get 60. 60 experience points, but we have no more, no more parts. If I find more parts, I will, of course, go for it, but I don't think we'll see any more <laughs> repair parts. More and leap down. More and leap down. that we don't really need anymore. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you can see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. And there's Zalbar. You're a site for sore eyes mission. Who's that with you? Without them, I could never have got you out. Good to meet you, Zalbor. I'm Mitch. You know the language of my people? This is rare among your species. I'm impressed. You've saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There's only one thing I can ever do to repay such an act. I will swear a life debt to you. I am sure, Mission. This is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are being used as slave labor on our own home world. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken my pe many of my people. We must always be on guard against that. When the Gamorreans captured me, I thought I was doomed for a life of servitude. I have been saved for such a fate, and the only way I can repay is with a life debt. Some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. Cool. In the presence of all, I swear left at forever after I will be by your side, Mitch. May I have my vow be as strong as the roots of the great Reshar trees of Kashyyyk. I guess this means you're accept the vow. Glad to have you aboard, Mission. Good, sooner we'll get there, the better. Raker, are you serious? Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay, not really an option. Let's go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Zalbar has joined the party. Remember, you can only have two party members with you at one time. The other will wait back at your apartment. You can switch party members using party selection screen accessible by pressing A. 
While on the map screen, this button will, is disabled in areas that are considered dangerous. Press A to go to party selection. Yeah, we're gonna keep Karth with us. No offense. And get his fortitude up. Alright. Sure. Sure. So she has what she has, I have what I have. Life is good. She's about 1300 experience points from leveling up. I believe that's level 6 for her if she does. Correct? Yeah. See, I'm 4, he's 6, 5. But I'm saving my levels for a reason. Now that I know where we're pretty much situated, we're, we're good to go. What's in here? Skeletal corpse. Right, it's in a med pack. There's a Gamorian patrol. Let's go ahead and wipe him out. Alright, I'll take that sonic grenade. Repair kit, whatever, but sonic grenade? Definitely. Doing what needs to be done. See, they just tear through everything. Thanks. Jeez. But we'll take the experience points. That was pretty... It was a pretty rough fight, though.
definitely more than I was kind of expecting. Back to the healer and then Rukil. Because <laughs> we found all three journals. Yes, sir. You amaze me. I, I wish I had some. I wish I had some. Take that healing. goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? I have all three journals here. Take them. It's impossible that at long last the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled. I, I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. True kill. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. A promised land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many rat ghoul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. Surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. To where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Goodbye, Rukil, and good luck. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. The destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. Yeah, it doesn't go well for him. If you play the MMO, you find out bad things happen to these people. And it's kind of sad. It's, it's sad. So, just under 250. And a little... Mission will level up to level six. Excuse me, and I'll be happy. So happy for her. So this village is now empty. Like we're done with you now. It's like, oh, that's that's cool. Go get some more rat ghoul fighting. So, half of the level up is there. For what we need for mission. Oh, cool. They're like, yeah, you're you're in a different zone now, so you're fine. Appreciate that game. Much love, much love. Go ahead and here. Cover. You 
won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper code. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black vulgar who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. I hear mission. So this way, because we do have things to explore. There's a Gamorian. There's two Gamorian. Five more fights like that, and we're pretty happy. Zalbar's rifle, a bunch of other things as well. Recover the mine. Skill to low. Recover the mine. <laughs> Skill to low. Okay, well. Recover the mine mission. Your skill is not too low. Terrible. Well, when scoundrels improve luck. Okay, we'll take that. So you see, her vitality is doing well. It's a 48 now, which is four above me, two levels ahead of me. Way below Karth, because Karth is a soldier. Defense is 19 for Karth. Mine's 14. So, doing a little better there, too. Oh, I can use intelligence up. Give him another skill point in places. That's coming in a couple levels. I wonder what I'd put it in. Probably awareness. If I'm being frank. Just so I have some more awareness skill. Sure. Yeah, we'll look into that. Sure. An interesting potential there. Yeah, that one's that one's busted. I think that's part of the problem with my character right now. His defense is so low. So, a couple of computer spikes and some 24 credits. Not the worst thing ever.
What? What? So nearly a couple hundred experience points there. I ain't hurting nobody. Everything. I think. Almost. So we're going to head up and over to the right. Was that well we finished that part of the sewers off Dang it, mission. this offer me a fight with a few people I don't know there so 240 take that med pack and the grenade I'll take the med pack and the Take all that. Mm. Okay, and we'll go down this way. I 
just because we want to get all the sewer done. I just may not have enough skill, I don't know. I got mean, it there though. Takes care of a bunch of problems. We are not going to fight the Rancor. What we are going to do is put one of those in there. Lots of rackles here, and that's ridiculous. Come on now. There we go. He explodes. And that, sir. That's how you beat a raincore as the rain comes down. 200 experience points for taking down the raincore. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Bye, Mr. Rancor. Let's go ahead and mess these guys up. Remains. Take like the energy shield. Take like both energy shields by giving them a mission. Three med packs. Nice. Saves so me 120 credits. Black Falker base. This is where I'm going to call it. We got through the sewer, we got through the undercity, where we're in the Volker base is a good place to call it. So we'll pick this up next time. Yeah. Until then, I'll see y'all later. So long, everybody. This will be up on YouTube.